That horrific school bus crash, a class trip ending with two dead and 43 injured. You can see the school bus right there after the violent collision with a dump truck on a New Jersey highway. The front crushed there. One student, in fact, saying they were hanging from their seatbelts. There was a mass casualty response. A fleet of ambulances called in while anxious parents rushed to the school waiting for news on their children. ABC's Eva Pilgrim is on the scene for us tonight. Tonight, a fun student excursion turning instead to tragedy. Their school bus ripped apart in a deadly crash. I'm going to need about 20 ambulances. I have a full school bus and I have victims on the ground. The bus filled with 38 fifth graders and seven adults on a field trip colliding with that dump truck on Interstate 80 in Mount Olive, New Jersey at 1030 this morning. You could hear the tire screeching and then you heard it. Uh, you could you actually hear the bus hitting the guardrail. See if I we have two young females who are in progress. I got one child shallow breathing with a head injury. The highway littered with remnants of the school bus. You can see the steering wheel, the front end sheared off, the crash ripping the chassis right off the body of the bus. Police using dogs to search the scene and nearby woods for survivors. The dump truck several hundred yards down from the crash scene. One student and one adult were killed. The injured, several in critical condition, rushed to area hospitals, worried family members rushing to the school. My daughter, 13 years old, Hannah, she, uh, I don't know what happened with her, so I want to find out. I want to go inside and ask. What grade is Hannah in? She's in uh, seventh grade. Okay, so this was a fifth grade field trip, but let me let you know, there oh. were three buses, so I think your daughter is fine. She wasn't on one oh. of the buses. But other families going through their worst nightmare. For those of you that have the loved ones, you go home and you say how much you love them because there are people that tonight are not able to. And Eva Pilgrim with us tonight live from New Jersey. Eva, such a horrific scene and investigators I know are still trying to figure out what actually caused this. That's right, David. Investigators still don't know exactly what caused this crash or who, if anyone, is at fault. I can tell you that the driver of that dump truck is talking to authorities. The Department of Transportation says the company that owns that dump truck has been in seven crashes in the last two years. Five of them have resulted in injuries. David. Eva Pilgrim leading us off. Eva, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.